Good morning, YouTube. It's early morning, trying to get a few things done before it gets super hot out today. Uh, my neighbor brought me a push mower this morning. He hit a fence post in the ground with it and uh, quit running. So the question is, is is it, ready, is it ready for the scrap pile or can we make it live again? Let's get into this thing. All right, guys, here's what we're working on this morning. We got an old high wheel push mower here. Um, let's see here. I haven't even looked to see what the motor is. I know it's a Briggs. Ooh. Yeah, it's a Briggs 550. I don't know if you guys can see that. It's kind of dark in here still. Craftsman, you know. But anyway, get this thing rolled over here. I'm going to have to move it around a little bit. On my crappy little workbench here that I built in about five seconds. I try to get this thing rolled over so you guys can see what's happening here. Alright, so flip the motor up, motor, motor up on its side. Stay there. Oh yeah. I don't know if you can see that or not, but she's whammied real hard right there. So when I get a mower that's hit something, the first thing I like to do is flip it on, flip it over and look underneath, see how damaged it is. Um, let's see, let's see if we can't spin this thing. See if we can't hear if the valves are opening and closing, the pistons moving. Because if it's if it just freewheels, the crank's probably snapped in it and it's done. Oh, all right. You hear that squeak noise? That sounds like compression. All right, cool. So let's go ahead and we'll flip it back up. We'll take that blade off here in a minute. I want to check something else first. I'm going to zip this cover off up here. One, two, three screws. Should be five sixteenths. Oh wow, this one's fuel cap. Okay, there we go. Right. Duct tape, nice touch. and take this guy, get him off here. Oh wow, it's full of grass. All right. I would have to say this mower has uh, definitely been used. I'm not surprised. Full of grass, this thing, uh, these engines are air-cooled. Well, that's a broken piece there. She's awful tight up top here. Awful tight. I can't move that with my hand. So I got a feeling what's happened is there's a keyway in here in the flywheel and when you hit something hard, sometimes it shears it off. So I'm gonna have to go find a socket. i will take this nut off so I can try to pop this flywheel. So let me go find that. Well, I went out there and I was trying to see if I had the right socket or not. And I think I do, but I don't know if they messed with it or it did this when they whacked the post. But this, uh, this nut was already loose. So we'll pull the nut starter cup off there. Oh, wow. Flywheel's broke. Let me get you guys in here for a second. Yeah. See that? Flywheel's busted. All right, that's, I wasn't expecting that, but we might be able to save this old girl. I got a parts mower. So uh, I'm gonna go dig up some spare parts for this thing. All right, so magnets just hit. There's the flywheel, came off of it. There's the one off the parts mower, they're identical. I am gonna change the nut starter cup everything and as you can see the key is still in there 
So, let's go ahead and uh, I'll get you guys set back up over there and we'll get back in here. Okay. We'll take our flywheel. Probably ought to take some of this grass out of here. Little broken chunks of flywheel. And I probably ought to find something to tie that flywheel brake back to. Let's see if I got anything out here. I think I see something over there. Just gonna make it easier to put that flywheel on there. Okay, there we go. We got the the bale tied back for the engine kill switch and the flywheel brake. All right, now let's set our new flywheel down on there. Hopefully, we can line the key up in one shot. And I'm going to call that a win. Now the starter cup has two dogs on it that engage the flywheel. It broke on the other one. Yeah, kind of messed up, not bad. So we'll set our that down. And then we'll take our flywheel nut, set him on there. Get him started. I'm sure there's a torque spec for this, but I sure as heck don't know it. Give her one more. There we go. All right. Look at that. Bust around like brand new, guys. All right. Cool deal. Let's put that top engine cover back on it. Then we'll start dealing with that blade. I got another blade out there on the parts mower too that I think we'll just slap on this thing. And then we'll uh, get our neighbor back to mowing again so he can go hit some more fence posts. Tear up some more stuff and get me some more work. Maybe I can buy some more stuff from my YouTube channel. side again. So there's the one we need for the blade. Alright. Let me go snag that blade off the parts mower and I'll be right back. Alright, I'm back. Now I don't know because this blade looks a hair different. But they do look like they're the same size. So let's do an experiment and see if this is going to work. Let's get this guy off of here. Thank you. 
blade's not going to work on this engine. I'll show you why. See the difference in the holes? This blade won't go on this engine. I thought it would. Well, maybe if I... You know what? I bet if I change the blade adapter, it will. Let me see what it's going to take to get that off there. I might have to get a puller. Let's see if it just come off. I doubt it. Um, well, actually, I think I might try to straighten this one. Maybe. Oh, let me go find some more stuff, guys. All right, well, I went out there and got looking around. And lo and behold, I looked in my parts pile. Look what I found. Exact same blade. So that's awesome. So, let's go ahead and throw this guy on you. Definitely pays to keep parts around, guys. It does. Right, let's stand you back up. Okay. Probably be a good idea to check the oil in this thing. I'm going to have to go find a rag, though. Okay. Way over full. It just hasn't gone down yet because I tipped it over. All right, we'll give that a second. While I was out there scavenging my parts pile. I got an air filter cover and an air filter that should work on this, I'm hoping, because I see they've duct taped this one because it's probably broke. And that one is absolutely disgusting. I think we're ready to, uh, let's see if it's got any gas on it. Got about that far. Some gas in there. All right. I think we're ready to take this thing outside and see if it's gonna live again, guys. All right, I got you guys set up out here. Got the mower sitting here. So let's give her a whirl.
Well, all right, guys, that's going to do it for this episode. We got to craft some mower run for my neighbor again after he had a push or a fence post sticking up out of the ground with it. So hopefully that'll be a lesson and inspiration to some of you guys. Your neighbor's junk is another man's treasure. You can always try to bring them back. Sometimes they live, sometimes they don't. God bless you. Have a great day. Please consider liking and subscribing to this channel.